to uh, Godly Thoughts uh, with um, Koma Tasi. Today we are looking at uh, Mark 7, uh, verse 33, the healing of the deaf man. Uh, people brought a man to Jesus and said, look, this man has a problem, please help him. And Jesus took the man away from the crowd. Spitting into his hands, he touched his ears and he prayed and he said, Epatha, which means be opened. And this man's ears were opened. Now, my focus is on the fact that Jesus moved away from the crowd in order to do this miracle. You know, there are times where if you want God to mightily use you in a certain area of your life, you may need to move away from the crowd, my brother, my sister. You may need to step away from the crowd and go to that place to do what you know God can do. To let, to let God use you to do what you can do. Some prayers are better done away from people. Some attempts to hear from God are better done away from people, from the crowd. Because the doubt of the crowd is so overwhelming, it can interfere with the miracle. People are so interested in seeing the process of how a healing miracle has taken place, of how a, process, a prophecy has taken place. Their obsession has nothing to do with believing in God, but in turning the whole thing into a spectacle and into a show. There are some people who go to some prophetic churches just to see the show, just to enjoy the show, to take videos and to share uh, uh, the show, to gossip about the show. Let me tell you, the biggest miracles are done on, in front of a very smaller crowd, even sometimes alone. You don't need the crowd in order to perform a miracle. You don't need the crowd in order to see how God works. Sometimes Jesus had to separate himself away from the crowd for the miracle to take place. Before he walked on top of water, he said to the disciples, go ahead of me. He went to a solitary place to pray. You don't always need to be in front of the crowd to see the hand of God. You need to be alone. I am alone right now. And the miracle of you listening to this uh, message is taking place. It's a miracle. Now I tell you the truth. The crowd is always there sometimes to pass comments while you are trying to work. Remember there was this girl that Jesus wanted to heal. And Jesus went there and said, this person is asleep. This person is not dead. He was beginning the process of motivating himself, building up to the healing of this girl. And the people laughed at him. And they had to be chased out of the place. There are some of us that if people laugh at us while we are trying to pray, we are already discouraged. We may for forego and foresee, forfeit the whole thing. Sometimes if you made up your mind that you want to give, don't share with the crowd. Just go and give. Because the crowd can ask you questions. This January, this December, you, you are sure. Sometimes if you made up your mind that you want to adopt an orphan, you don't need to talk to many people before you do it. Just do it. Do it alone. Go alone. Sometimes don't even tell your wife, don't even tell your husband that you are prepared to fast and pray for the, this child you are not having in the family, for, for this pregnancy that is, you are not conceiving, for this promotion that is coming. Sometimes some prayers that are answered better are with, when you are you and God alone. I want to urge you to consider this. Do you really need those people that you have with you while you are going to pray? Do you always need to be in the company of a large crowd so that you can pray? Sometimes you do not. If you think closely and you think carefully, some answers you are experiencing today was when you made a, an act of faith alone and you prayed alone and God heard you and answered you. I always say one of the most amazing prayers I've ever heard was of Jonah who prayed while he was in the belly, the belly of the fish. There was no crowd. It was just Jonah and the smelly intestines of a fish. Now let me tell you the truth. When you are faced with a really big problem, and you want God to intervene in that situation, my brother, my sister, sometimes you don't need to do it as a crowd. Sometimes the biggest miracles in the manifestation of the presence of God takes place when you are just you and God, and there's no one to even share it with. You can't even capture it on camera. Sometimes the biggest miracle and intervention of God takes place when you trust God alone. When you and God are together and there is no one else. Even at the Red Sea, Moses had to listen to God. But the biggest challenge he faced was the yelling and the murmuring of the crowd. Move away from the crowd today. Be with God alone and he will answer you.
Otherwise, uh, ciao and God bless you.